Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rana. Today is the 8th of June, 2018. We're going to reflect on John 19, 31 to 37. Listen. Since it was the day of preparation, the Jews did not want the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, especially because that Sabbath was a day of great solemnity. So they asked Pilate to have the legs of the crucified men broken and the bodies removed. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and at once blood and water came out. He who saw this has testified so that you also may believe. His testimony is true and he knows that he tells the truth. These things occurred so that the scripture might be fulfilled. None of his bones shall be broken. And again, another passage of scripture says, they will look on the one whom they have pierced. The gospel of the Lord. There are many churches these days that don't display Christ on the cross, preferring instead to show an image of the resurrected Jesus. While I can understand the reasoning behind this shift, Jesus, after all, has risen. We must never lose sight of the cross because that is the price that Jesus paid to bring us salvation. During the retreats that I preach, I sometimes tell the congregation to look at the cross. But instead of seeing Jesus there, to see themselves for a minute crucified on it, because rightfully we should have been the ones up there for the sins we commit. Romans 6.23 begins by saying that the wages of sin is death, but we often seem to forget that. The second part of Romans 6.23 says that the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is through his death. I then tell the congregation to fade themselves out and see Jesus there and understand, really understand the love he has for us that made him take our place on it and die for us. It has a huge impact on them. I would like you to be impacted too. So tell me, do you lie? Do you gossip? Do you steal? Did you just say, no, I don't steal? Well, What about those movies or TV shows or music that you download without paying for them? Or that stationery that you take home from the office? That's stealing, yes. Do you watch porn? Do you try to seduce others? We really forget that these things that we do, some of us so often, is sin. If you have a small crucifix at home, I'd like you to take it around with you today, occasionally looking at it for a few moments, reflecting on what we just spoke about. I believe that if we are a little more conscious about why Jesus ended up on the cross because of our sins, we would be more motivated to live the new life that comes with the resurrection. Don't you think? God bless you.